This week's video isn't a myth or an urban legend, but a story written by author Jan Krienga. I came across this tale while researching last week's video and wanted to share it with all of you. Danilla was a man with a lot of problems, so he decided to escape with his brother's horse. He rode into a forest and stopped at a lake that was located in the middle. He looked around and thought to himself, I would make a great monk. So first he made and then placed a wooden cross into the ground. Then he began to collect materials to build a monastery. What Danilla didn't know was that Satan and his demons lived underneath the lake. The unholy creatures were very curious about what was happening above. So one of the demons sprung out of the lake and asked, What are you doing? Danella told of his plan, and the demon answered angrily, This place belongs to me and my kind. Danella ignored the demon and continued with his task. Then the very flustered demon jumped back into the lake and informed its master. Satan told it to give Danilla a big sack filled with gold. Danilla gladly accepted the gold. He would rather be a rich man instead of a monk. The demon jumped back into the lake and found Satan regretting that he gave away his gold. So another demon hopped out of the lake just right as Danilla was getting ready to leave. It challenged Danilla to a contest of strength. Whoever could run around the lake three times while carrying the horse would keep the gold. Danilla accepted with a big grin on his face. The demon very easily picked up the horse and ran around the lake three times without stopping or dropping the horse. Still smiling, Danilla told the demon he could do it even better. Instead of carrying the horse with his hands, he would carry it with his legs. He then jumped onto the horse and rode it around the lake three times. Absolutely embarrassed at being tricked, the demon challenged Danilla to a running contest. He accepted but first the demon had to compete against his son. He took it to a rabbit and told it that this was his youngest son. The rabbit won the race, so the demon proposed a wrestling contest. Dandela accepted, but on the condition that it would first wrestle his 999-year-old uncle. He then took the demon to a cave the sleeping bear in it and told it that his uncle was inside. The bear easily won the wrestling match. The demon proposed another contest, this time a screaming contest, and as before Danilla agreed. The demon screamed so loud that the earth trembled. <coughs> Danilla said he couldn't hear the scream, so the demon screamed two more times. Danilla informed the demon that his scream was so loud that it could kill people. So for protection, he tied a piece of cloth around the demon's eyes and ears. He then picked up a large oak branch and hit the demon's head as hard as he could. The demon screamed and begged him no more, but Danilla said it got to scream three times, so he had to too. He then hit the demon twice more in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Terrified, the demon jumped back into the lake. Shortly after, a third demon with a big iron mace jumped out of the lake. This demon proposed a mace throwing contest. 
The demon then threw the mace so hard that when it landed, it went into the ground and made the entire earth shake. When it was Danila's turn, he pointed to the moon and told the demon that the three dark spots were his brothers, and they really needed iron. He then lifted the maze, but before he could throw it, the demon stopped him. Apparently, the maze was an heirloom, and had been in the demon's family for generations. It grabbed back its mace and jumped back into the lake. Right after, a fourth demon jumped out of the lake. This demon proposed another contest. This final competition was going to be a cursing contest. And like all the times before, Danila agreed. The demon cursed and cursed until one of Danila's eyes became injured. Even though in great pain, Danila informed the demon that he had left all of his curses at home. He then asked if it could carry the gold to his house. There they could finish the contest. The demon nodded his head and picked up the sack of gold. Danila jumped on top of the sack and they headed to his house. When they got close, Danella jumped down and rushed to his house. Once inside, he told his children to give the demon a makeover using their iron combs. The children rushed outside and tore at the demon's flesh with their combs. It dropped the gold and ran away back to the lake. Danella settled all of his troubles and returned his brother's horse. He lived out the rest of his life a very wealthy family man, and fortunately was never bothered by demons again. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and if you already have, thank you very much! La, la.